So we had a bunch of trades go down earlier this morning, and I actually did wake up to see them. I just could not make videos about them right away because I had some errands to run. Had to get out of the house a little bit. But today we are starting out with the newest, but probably the most interesting of the three trades we have seen so far. The Montreal Canadiens and the Anaheim Ducks have swapped minors. Okay, no, that sounds terrible, my bad. They've swapped prospects. A minor league trade here between Anaheim and Montreal. The Habs have acquired forward Jakob Perot in exchange for forward Jan Mishak. And, you know, it's a minor league deal. These guys are two AHL players. It's not really the biggest deal in the world, literally, but I do think this is a really good piece of business by the Montreal Canadiens. Here's why. Jan Mishak, who is the infamous younger brother of Lish Mishak, and that's a joke if you get it, then hey, let me know in the comments section below if you remember where that's from. But Jan Mishak was a Montreal Canadiens prospect taken in the second round of the 2020 draft, 48th overall. He's 21 years old, 5'11", 183, left-handed center left wing. And in that 2020 draft season, Jan Mishak was seen as a guy who could have been one of the top players. Even earlier back in his draft minus one year in 2018-19, Mishak was already a pro hockey player in the Czechia League. He was 17, he had 7 points in 31 games played, he was dominant at the junior level in Czechia, and so a lot of people, myself included, were kind of thinking, oh yeah, Jan Mishak is going to be one of these top 2020 guys. You talk about the Lafreniers, the Byfields, the Stutzlas, you talk about Raymond and everybody else in that 2020 class, Mishak is going to be right in there. And that kind of continued into 2019-20, his actual draft season, because he had 9 points in 26 games in the Pro Czechia League, and even made the team for their World Junior squad only at 17-18 years old. But once Jan Mishak made his way over to the OHL, he only had 25 points in 22 games played with the Hamilton Bulldogs, and that was seen as somewhat of a disappointing number, because he wasn't really lighting the entire league on fire. Now, the Canadians ended up taking him 48th overall, and if you scroll down to the bottom here, you'll see that some of the projections actually had him going a lot earlier. Mishak was ranked 32nd by Elite Prospects, 26th by Craig Button, Future Considerations had him at number 16, 27th by McKean's, 34th by Bob McKenzie, so the fact that he slipped over to the 48th spot was already kind of a problem, but the Canadians took him, they started him in the AHL right away, and you may be wondering, oh wait a minute, he was a CHL guy, how could he go from the CHL to the AHL when he's only 18-19? Well, technically... Jan Mishak was not born and bred in the OHL like some other prospects were. Because he was technically a European import, that allowed him to play in the AHL one year after being drafted, which is why he played with the Laval Rocket. He had two goals and 22 games played, not great, and he got sent down to the OHL actually even further the year after that. Now, he was a point-per-game guy again, which is fine. He was also over a point per game for Team Czechia at the World Juniors, which is also fine, but at this point, you're starting to see, okay, there's a very slow development path here for Jan Mishak, and he just wasn't getting it done in the way Canadians fans wanted him to. Last year, he had 9 points in 40 games played in Laval. That's not great. This season, though, he did improve on that significantly, 20 points in 48 games played. But as a 21-year-old who's, at this point, potentially looking to be some sort of a middle to bottom six forward at the National Hockey League level if everything goes right, you could say the Canadians had it in their best interests to see what the market had for Mishak. And that's exactly what they did with this trade. They get themselves, from the Anaheim Ducks, Jakob Perot, who's a player that I've been a really big fan of for a long time. He's 21 years old, 5'11", 192, also a 2020 pick, taken just about, what is that, 21 spots earlier than Mishak in that same draft. Perot is a 27th overall 2020 first round pick. Mishak was the 48th overall second round pick in that same draft. And Jakob Perot was just a super skilled guy, pure sniper with one of the best shots in the draft class. It's accurate, hard, and he can score from anywhere. His ability to catch and shoot pucks in stride when the passes aren't in the wheelhouse is a transferable skill that will serve him well. 
He also happens to be the son, or one of the sons, of Yannick Perot, who played in the NHL for quite a while in the 90s and early 2000s. Now, for Jakob Perot, he had himself somewhat of an equally stagnating development path in the AHL. He had 18 points in 31 games played this season with the San Diego Gulls, a slight improvement over his 19 points in 48 games last year, but two seasons ago, this is when he really torched the league and had 37 points in 55 games to start out his AHL career. This, of course, comes along with the 2020-2021 season he had, wherein he had 17 points in 27 games. This, I'm pretty sure, was the year that the OHL shut down, which is why he was able to play in the AHL in the first place, but for Jakob Perot, he's always been a lot more of a skill-first, pure offensive guy especially in comparison to Jan Mishak, who is more of a well-rounded player and who had a pretty good offensive touch at different levels of junior Czechia hockey, but was never able to really carry that over into the AHL until this season, at least. Let's go over on a Hattie K because I really do like his analysis on here. I tend to agree with a lot of things that Hattie says, but Jakob Perot is a very different prospect from Jan Mishak, much more unilateral. Trading a well-rounded player like Mishak for a pure offensive forward is a bet on upside. I like this. The Montreal Canadiens have a logjam of potential bottom six NHLers and not enough upside in the system. And you could go out there and say that there are a lot of examples of upside. Oh, Josh Waugh is in here. Of course, you've got Cole Caulfield. Nick Suzuki's doing well. Slavkovsky, too. But when it comes to the prospect side of things, the guys that aren't in the NHL, who else do you got? I mean, Sean Farrell is there. He's an option. Everybody's talking about Lane Hudson, but he's a defender. So what forwards are there that have super high upside? Jakob Perot, you could debatably say, is one of the guys who has the most at this point. So overall, this is a pretty tidy piece of business by the Montreal Canadiens. Hat even goes out there and says it's a bland move in the larger scheme of things, but I think it hints at Hughes and companies locking into what matters this year, scoring upside. Perot is a tremendous shooter with family history in this city. Not in that positive defensive player by any means, but it's a move that makes sense. And so if the Montreal Canadiens, as indicated by this move, didn't really feel like Jan Mishak had much of a place in this system heading into the long term, that his versatility and bottom of the lineup potential wasn't really valued as much as it was maybe two, three years ago when he was initially drafted, then getting a guy in Perot who was just a few draft spots earlier than Mishak and who has a much higher offensive ceiling but a less impactful defensive ceiling, I think this makes a lot of sense. And the Montreal Canadiens getting themselves a goal scorer who happens to have that family connection because his father, I mean, he did play with the Montreal Canadiens for a while in the early 2000s. It does make everything look really nice, right? They're trading for a family guy that was a part of this organization in the past. I mean, Jakob Perot was born in Quebec, in Montreal. His dad was playing with the Habs when Perot was born. And there's a reason why he's the number one trending player here on Elite Prospects is because Habs fans are absolutely nuts. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about this trade right here. The one-for-one one Jan Mishak for Jakob Perot swap between the Anaheim Ducks and the Montreal Canadiens. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. How do you feel about this trade? I hope you enjoyed this British Air Show 99. We'll talk about all the other trades and everything as well as the day goes on. And... Bye.